everyone, and welcome to review 300 of Crafty Beer Reviews. As you guys can clearly see, to the right is Dave Coulter from Beer Sampling with Dave. Outstanding. So make sure to go subscribe to his channel. I will have that information in the corner as usual. So, review 300. This is huge, guys. I just can't believe that this is finally here. And I get to give a big, big shout out to DJ over at DJ's Brewtube for hooking me up with this particular beer. Now, what are we drinking? Of course, something very special. This is Destroysen Black Albert. Now, if that's not special enough, and sorry that I butchered the name, because guys, I know I butchered the name. This is from 2007. This is the first batch of this beer, and it is a what they're referring to as a Belgian Royal Stout. So this thing is seven years old. I can't believe that I have this. DJ, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I will also, of course, have his channel information on the side there. Awesome stuff. Dave, thank you very uh, much for joining me here. Thanks for having me. Had to had to have someone else examine this beer, so... Need a stunt drinker at all exactly. times. Exactly. Stunt drinker. Stunt DJ, drinker. got a stink, stunt drinker. Yeah. Don't all be mad. right. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, we said the same thing at the same time. Massive dark fruits like plums, raisins, dates, figs. I'm getting a little bit of some caramel and some toffee sweetness. Really sweet. When I took that first aroma, sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, sweet. I get like some milk chocolate in there, like a really uh, nice kind of sweet chocolate. That's a that's a very good description. Wow. And yeah, that's, this and thing it's is got a lot of heads. Yeah, for 13%, I was not expecting it to pour any head. And just swirling it around. Look at the lacing that thing is. Look at that. Wow. Oh, my God. This is just like dark fruits on top of dark fruits. It actually kind of has that like dark fruit character, almost like a quad, I think. Oh my God. I don't know. Should we, without further ado, sample? I think so. I don't smell any alcohol either for 13%. Don't smell any alcohol. Maybe after uh, all this time, it's diminished. Uh, I must have. Hey, let's cheers. Cheers. All right. Cheers, guys. Oh my god. Oh we That's mm. intense. Wow. Right away, Ooh. I'm definitely getting the dark fruits, but more than that, I'm actually getting this really big kind of dark and milk chocolate sweetness. I'm getting that really like bittersweet dark chocolate, definitely the milk chocolate. I'm getting some more of that kind of toffee and caramel. There's actually a really nice kind of roasted bitterness on the very back end. As it lingers on my palate, I get more of that roastiness that you expect from an Imperial Stout. You kind of get that, like the lingering I do. bitterness. I do. I think that's a good description, and I can't add much to that, Johnny. Wow. I'll tell you what, though, I didn't smell the alcohol. I couldn't taste it. I don't know about wow. you. I got a definite warmth as it goes down. I am. Yeah, I am. But it's pretty smooth considering it's thirteen percent, though. I think it's a definite sipping type of beer, and I'm glad we shared this bottle. But I don't know about drinking the entire bottle by myself. Yeah, it's only eleven point two ounces, but this is a very rich wow. kind of decadent beer. And it's got a lot of fruit though, like that you kind know, of kind of plums, raisins, dates, figs. It's got toffee, caramel. It has a little bit of like a, almost like an acidic coffee type of note. Like you know, if you have like a, a black cup of coffee and you have that acidic type of um, finish in there, it kind of has that. It's definitely got those roasted malt notes. Although this thing is actually pretty sweet. Not as sweet tasting it as it's smelling though. Like I thought it was gonna be a little bit sweeter. Than it actually is in the taste. Yeah, because that first aroma when I when I put it up to my nose, that thing was a candy sweet, like almost yeah. candy sucrose. Wow. It, yeah, it was like candied fruits wow. actually, like candied dark fruits. But I think I would like this beer a lot better if it were paired with food I, or a digestive. I just can't see drinking this all night long. No, not all night. Definitely no. not. It's actually got a little bit of a thinner body that I don't expect from a stout, although that could obviously be from the aging. I would say it's got. On the full side of medium for a body, it's not quite as thick as some stouts. Mm -hmm. I like the carbonation level, though. It's got enough yeah. carbonation that it's lively, but it's not bubbly or, like, scrubbing, you know, on your tongue, which is good for sure. Mm -hmm. It's got, I don't know, it's kind of got a creamy type of mouthfeel. It's a little bit of a thinner mouthfeel, again, than mm -hmm. most stouts, but it, it does kind of have this creamy character, I think. I think we'd have to take the age into consideration here. Seven, I've never had a beer that was seven years old. No, no, this never. is my first beer over never. at this amount of time, too. But I think that, I, so I think that probably the mouthfeel of the body obviously is thinned a little bit just because of that. I mean, obviously, a little bit of air is going to get under the cap, but damn, this thing is good. Big beer, small bottle, 
Big beer. Mm-hmm. Wow. Intense. Hey, I really like something. that. I really wow. like the chocolate notes too. I like. It kind of starts almost like a quad up front, and that kind of finishes more like a stout. It's a really unique beer. I've never had anything like this, and this is really, really intense. Hey. I, I, I'm enjoying it though. I really, I am really liking this sucker. This is really, really tasty stuff. If you guys can trade for this, I'm not really sure how available it is. Certainly not the 2007, I'm sure, but I don't know how how fresh batches go, but I would seek this one out. It's definitely worth checking out. As far as a rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.5 out of 10. This wow. is a fantastic beer. I would like to try this one a little bit fresher, though, just because I'm thinking that the body might be a little bit fuller, the mouthfeel might be a little bit better, too. I'm thinking, even though the dark fruits might be diminished a little bit, I think that more of those stout characters might be a little bit more heavy in there. There might be more of a coffee note, that kind of thing, but this thing is really nice. It's got a little bit of heat for 13, but again, it's 13, mm -hmm. and I think overall this actually drinks really smooth. What do you think about for a rating, Dave? Well, for a rating, I don't really rate beers that much, but I would definitely say that this would be one that you should go out and, and find or trade for. Uh, it's definitely an A-plus beer in, in my book. I can't find anything wrong with it. It does have that warming effect, though. I'm, I'm feeling it right now, my mm -hmm. friends. Yeah, you can feel um, it in the chest. And it, it, We don't have any daylight in the room, but I can definitely see some ruby colors here at the very top. I don't yep, know if you just a those. little bit, like a mahogany um, type of... I tell you what, uh, thanks, DJ, for sending this beer along to Johnny, and thank you for sharing it with me, Johnny. Of course. Uh, special review, number 300. Indeed. Dave. All right, guys. This has been awesome. Dave, again, uh, thank you so much. Guys, please go check out Dave's channel. Go check out DJ's channel. To all my subscribers, to all my viewers, I really, really appreciate all the support. You know, it makes it a lot more fun when you guys comment, yeah. when we can get this whole thing going, sharing craft beer, just awesome stuff. Of course, hopefully, I'll be going for another 300-plus reviews. But, of course, we will see. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers. Cheers.